The scene, Nashville, Tennessee, the year 1960. Nashville recording engineer Glenn Snoddy is tracking Marty Robbins' soon-to-be radio hit, Don't Worry, but something goes wrong. There's a transformer malfunction in the recording console. In the middle of the recording, the guitar track is replaced by something unnatural. Naturally, Snotty edits it out and re-records the guitar. Actually, I think we're going to keep it. Say what now? Hey, Revis, listen. People are wanting this sound everywhere. How, how can we give it to them? Now, listen, I bet I could make a circuit, okay? And I could take that circuit and I could put it in a box so that other people could use it. So like a box that affects the sound. An effects box. Oh man. Yeah. What? I, this is Revis Hobbs. You're a modern day genius. Eureka! I know a company up in Kalamazoo. They can build this. Where's Kalamazoo? It's mellow. It's raucous. It's tender, it's raw, it's the maestro fuzz tone. You have to hear this completely different sound effect for the guitar. Uh, has to anyone it. seen my dad? It opens a whole new world of music for you. Instantly, I do. with fuzz tone, oh. you can create guitar sounds never before heard. Oh. Organ like tones, mellow woodwinds yeah. and whispering reeds. Uh, say what booming now? Booming brass and bell clear horns, uh, plus many, many more. How many Combined more? Combined with reverberation, tremolo, and vibrato. It expands even what? further uh. the range of startling effects. Let's wait! Wait, stop! They say I've got spunk. They say I've got spark. They say that I am different. Like somehow I'm more than the sum of my parts. I can be a guitar. But I'm also a horn, I'm also a saxophone, maybe a trumpet and a dash of cello. And still, it's why I was born. Am I a mistake, a transformer that blew? Or do I have a destiny entirely new? I was almost a failure, a box on the shelf. A brand new invention, a genesis unto myself. Cause I am the first, a brand new attraction. The reason Keith Richards can't get satisfaction. And still, it's why I was born. I have so many possibilities, there's so many things that I can be. No one knows what I can achieve. Don't worry, dads, I'll make you proud of me. Cause I'm the FZ. Well, technically I'm the FC one. The year is 1965, Denmark Street, London. We find Gary Hurst sitting at his workbench in the back of Macari's musical instrument store. Maestro this, maestro that. What's all the fuss about? Snotty and Hobbs must be chuffed. I mean, it can't even sustain a note properly. Short-winded hunk of metal. It looks like a right dog's dinner. I can do better. You may not be the first pedal, but you're going to be the best. I'll make you fuller, bigger, more attitude. And Bob's your buncle. Now that's a pedal. This little beauty was no accident. Maestro, meet the big bad tone bender. Yo, I'm a bad metal pedal and the OG box of rock. Check your watches, ladies, cause it's tone bender o'clock. I'm the new and improved, boy I'm much better than you So you better step aside, better yet, run and hide 
kill you can't even sustain I hold notes that blow your brain Sound so good that it's profane Drive the engineers insane People saying that I'm great Truly the art of the state You just got onto the scene But you already late And the jamble with the runs and bed can pay. I'm the tone bender boy, we had me on center stage. Uh, I'm the tone bender, I made clap in a sensation. I'm the Beatles' inspiration, gave me thousand palpitations. Uh, I'm the tone bender, baby, I am the real British invasion. So this money. The scene, London, the year 1966. The man, Ivor Arbiter. He's not an inventor. He's not even a guitarist. Nonetheless, he's about to change the face of pedal history forever. There's got to be a way to cash in on this pedal craze. It's got to be an angle I'm not seeing. Ooh, what's this? Yeah, something different. People need options. Maybe two or three different colors. Yeah, some, uh, some eyes, little nose. Yeah, what a face. Did somebody call for a face? Well, thank you, Mr. Arbiter. Ask David Gilmore, who's his main squeeze? Ask George Harrison if I'm just a tease. Ask Jimi Hendrix why he chose me. I'm smoking hot Everybody loves this face Honestly, what's not to love? Everybody loves this face I'm the visage you've all dreamed of I've got style Choose your shape I've got class I've got charm coming out of my Knows and everybody loves this face. I'm unique. She's unique. Magnifique. Magnifique. I'm the utmost in beauty and grace. And everybody loves this face. That's break. Just a stretch Am I just a round face? Who cares? I'm a catch Call me a cab, ladies I'm taking it home I've got style I've got class I've got charm coming out of my nose And everybody loves this face I'm unique Everybody loves this face. Los Angeles, California, 1966. For engineer Brad Plunkett, it's a normal day in the lab. But guitarist Del Kasher, 
Here's a sound that's going to change music history. A sound like... Together, the guitarist and the engineer create the first wah-wah pedal. Unfortunately, what follows is an iconic case of misunderstanding. Yeah, it's, it's for guitar. No, I, I know it sounds like a trumpet, but, but it's for guitar. <laughs> you you want a what now? Yeah, sure. Why don't you just slap his face on it and call it the Clyde McCoy Wawa? Uh, oh, wait, wait, no. I, I was just kidding. Hello? Hello? <sighs> it was my idea. Everything's crap Trust me, everything's crap Oh, don't look so surprised People open your eyes Because everything's crap I'm a fraud And a clown I'm the not real McCoy So no wonder I'm down Life's a big old killjoy. Everything's crap. Say it, everything's crap. I was made for guitar, but a joke went too far. Cash was ready to snap. There's no point to my life. It's all heartache and strife because selling out all over the world. Really? <laughs> I'll help Hendrix at Woodstock. Frank Zappa loves me. The Yardbirds and Cream, they just can't get enough of me. Will my wall really carry musicians to glory? Will my wall really make such a change in this story? As I stand here aghast, could my life change so fast? Is my suffering past? I won't last. It's 1967, five years since the maestro fuzz tone came on the scene. The world is changing. Gas is 33 cents a gallon. Color television has become commonplace and PBS officially launches with the support of viewers like you. At the same time, naval engineer Roger Mayer takes a risk that may just pay off. Excuse me, sir, can I have a minute of your time? I'm about to go on stage, so you got 10 seconds. Great. Nine. I want to show you something, someone who could change your life. Mr. Hendricks, meet Octavia. Octavia, say hi. Hi. She's iconic. She's intense. Don't worry, she ignites. Pause for effect when she's performing for a crowd. With Octavia, what you see is what you get. I live life on my own terms, not an inkling of regrets. I'll take things up an octave, then I'll smash it all to bits. It's unruly, it's unholy, trust me baby, it's a hit. With Octavia, what you see is what you get. I'll combine it all and burn up like an 8-bit cigarette. And my sweet on the inside If you would dig deep enough No bomb bad to the bone Queen of mean on my throne With Octavia what you see is what you get Like news on a board of breaking glass On a step above the rest The soundtrack of your nightmare That you don't want out of your head Others will come in but they're just a silhouette I'm Octavia What you see is what you get Well 
I'll take it. And I'm a huge fan, by the way. <laughs> you see before you Fumio Mieda, part-time inventor and full-time daydreamer. In Japan, 1968, he's an oddball who wants to replicate a very unusual sound. I remember hearing Moscow Radio at night as a child, blasting propaganda into the Japanese airways. I don't remember hearing much, but I remember hearing swooshing, whooshing, washing, swooshing sound. I wonder if I can put that into a pedal. She's Subarashi. You think you can see me, but I'm really not there. You think you can touch me, but I'm nothing but air. Some try to find me and my chorus are phasing, but the truth is I'm more. I'm astounding, amazing. through the New York City, a decade is almost over, but one last pedal is about to make its mark. Rock and roll. My name's Mike Matthews. I started electroharmonics a year ago in 68. I'm not a circuit designer like my pal Bob Meyer, but I know business and I know good ideas. This 
This is one of my best. But I need some help. Bobby, come on. Do you need something? Yeah, I got this thing. Brilliant idea. I can't get off the ground, but you do that thing you always do. Come on. Right. Yeah, I got it. No, that's good. That's good. Bob, it. Take a cigar, man. I don't smoke. Just do I it. Like I told you don't argue with me. Oh, bring it in. Oh. Just call me Muff. A true New Yorker. A little rough. A lot of scruff. No room for fluff. Just call me Muff. I'm the fuzz that people call when things get tough. I'm the four turns to wonder. Call me Muff. I got a pedigree that makes the maestro blush. Invented by two geniuses, cause one just weren't enough. Just call me Muff. Hey, I'm walking in. I'm more than a box or a pretty face. I'm the winning horse headed for first place. A lot has changed since 62, cause this is New York, not Kalamazoo. I'm the Muff. He's the Muff. I'm the Muff. He's the Muff. Pretty gruff, I got scruff, tough enough, ain't no bluff. I'm the Muff. See this, not forget about it It's tone control and I gotta shout it I started on Broadway, it weren't enough I'm the new line, I'm the king of us I'm the muff He's the muff I'm the muff He's the muff Pretty gruff, I got scruff Tough enough, ain't no bluff I'm the muff on a pig. The time is now.
Thank you so much for spending the evening with us watching Petals the Musical. It actually happened a crazy idea to do a historically accurate musical comedy about Petals history. So yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. I wanna give a big, huge thank you to Sweetwater who helped sponsor this by giving us funds to pay the actors, the dancers, the techs, the staff. We got to pay people really well in a time when theater's really been suffering and that's really exciting. So thank you, Sweetwater. Thank you to the entire crew. There's so many people, their names are flashing by. Read those names. And this Wednesday, we're gonna do a live episode at the JHS studio where I invite in the cast, writers, musicians, and we're gonna have a discussion about what this was like to do a musical. It's crazy. We're gonna answer your questions. We're gonna talk and talk and talk about this. And uh, I don't know, I'm just excited. So in the comments, let me know what you thought about this. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Were you really surprised? Did you think this was a joke? I just wanna hear all about it. Let us know your favorite parts and tell us some cool stories about what it was like to watch pedal history in the form of a musical theater production. Have a wonderful evening, night, morning, wherever you're watching this. Bye-bye.